You really got the map? Mission accomplished, Firehawk. Just Lilith is fine. You got the map? Nice! So, did you see any of my Sun Smashers? <laughs> and why do you smell like dust and skin? So, I'm an idiot. You see, when I bought the game, I got the Super Deluxe Edition, which has a whole bunch of exclusive stuff that you can unlock, but I didn't really know how to do that. And then, I stumbled across my mail folder under my social tab, and lo and behold, all of this fantastic content is just waiting for me, and was apparently there even at the start of the game. Well, better late than never, right? Suddenly, I was flush with legendary guns, shields, and bombs. Among my favorite new entries were the Hyper Hydrator Pistol and the Diamond Butt Bomb, which, let's face it, just sounds amazing to begin with, but is also so pretty and incredibly effective. But Stallion for the win, everybody! This new loadout came in real handy as my next main quest was to find and protect Tannis. She had as normal run afoul of a lot of bandits. Overall, my glorified super soaker did a pretty good job. However, for general speed and efficiency's sake, I did have to switch it up a bit. If you do find yourself using this legendary pistol, however, I would recommend staying in Squirtum mode. There is an alternate fire mode that will do shock damage, but it is pretty slow and not nearly as accurate as far as I could tell. My Rainbow Pony Bombs did a good job at crowd control, so overall, this fight was not as bad as it could have been. Alright, killer. Let's take the rest out together. Then Lilla showed up, and my work was pretty much done. I have learned, over the course of the Borderlands series, that it's probably best to not get in Lilith's way. Yep, valuable lesson right there, folks. You're all still here in my personal space, so let's get on with it. We saved Tannis from the bandits, but could we ever really save her from herself? That has been an eternal question in this series, and I think the answer is no. Tannis examined our map, and it turns out that there was a copy of Tron on there. Pretty sweet. Before setting off on more of the main quest, I did some of the side missions. It gave me a good chance to launch some horses at enemies. This mission involved shooting a lot of skags who were already pretty mad at me for my past transgressions. That made killing them feel much more justified. After collecting the skag meat that I needed to complete the quest, I ran across some rack, at which point I found the true failing of this water squirter. It is horribly inadequate when it comes to flying enemies. It's just too slow and there's not enough spread, which is usually why you use shotguns for this. Still, you can take out racks with such a gun if you wait for them to dive bomb you, which is not necessarily the optimal solution. Nevertheless, I rushed to complete the quest and hit level 10. Damn straight it will. Damn straight. What will happen at level 10? Well, I think we're gonna take to the stars. 